Shall we begin? If you see the verse for, uh, before this one, it says, it speak about women who offer themselves for sex to sleep with Muhammad. O Prophet, surely we have made law for, for you. Wives from who you're giving your dowries. That doesn't say dowry. It says you pay them their wages. And those whom, it's not just even saying, you know, if you go in Arabic, you see the translation in Arabic, the Arabic word is different. Uh, and, and and if you if you look at the at the Arabic text, always is totally different from the from the English text. O oh, Prophet, we made lawful for you your wives, who they, you paid them their wages, and those who they are your right hand possess. So they are lawful for you in which way? Six. All right, six. They are there's wives already. This actually, this verse is finally very silly. I mean, God now remember to say to Muhammad that it's lawful for you, your wives. I mean, are you stupid or what? This guy is sleeping with them forever. Now you remember to say to them to say to him, it's lawful for you to have your wives. And then he continue, and your right hand possess when my malakat yaminuk. Which Allah give you as a blessing, you know, the slaves is a blessing of Allah. I mean, what, what you can say? Slaves is a blessing of Allah. And the daughters of your uncles and your cousin and the daughter of etc. and the daughter of etc. and the daughter of etc. and wa imra'a mu'mina in wahabat nafsaha lil nabi in arada an nabiyyu an yastankihuha. Let me translate. And any believing women, she offer herself to the Prophet to if her. To what? To F her. Yeah. O Prophet, we have made lawful to thee the one you paid them their wages and those whom your right hand possess of those who Allah given you as a spoil of war and the daughters of the uncle and the father side of the daughter, and the ten aunts, and the father of the said aunt's daughter, and the, the, the daughter, and the, the, the daughter, and the daughter of the daughter, and the daughter, those are all lawful for the prophet. But he didn't stop here. He did not stop here. Then he says, and the believing women, if she give herself into the prophet. What the heck? What kind of a believing woman she gave herself to the prophet to if her? Excuse my language. What kind of a believing woman she go to the door of a person? Hello? Yes. Christian friends? Yes. Take me. What? Take me. I'm so hot. Well. This prophet, he have a long line of women in his bedrooms already. He own a lot of slaves. And yet, any believing woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet. I mean, do you see how nice he is to women? Put yourself in his shoes. Imagine if the Prophet of Allah is exists right now. At least, at least there's 500 million women, they want to sleep with him. Muhammad, he need his the you know the door of Muhammad uh, 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 house will be more busy than any USA embassy in the world. Once I went to the USA embassy, man, I want to just get it close to the door. I want to get it close to the door. I cannot get in. There's hundreds of people. And they keep saying to me, take your turn, take your turn, take your turn. <laughs> People, they are sleeping like from last night, imagine. Anyway, so any believing woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can if her, not to marry her. 
and the prophet desire and look what the Muslim they say here desire into taking her into marriage liars it doesn't say that it says yes thank you huha, which mean to if her in a continue ing if in ing it doesn't say to marry her You see how they lie so any woman she want to give herself to the prophet and look what it says look what it says it says a privilege of thee only so what is the privilege this is a special privilege that any woman she want to open her legs wide like a garage for the prophet peace upon him so he can park his penis there it's a privilege only for the prophet to do so so the God of Islam, the Almighty, he made the privilege rules for the penis of the Prophet. It doesn't go to anyone. Only the Prophet, he have a privilege over his penis. Ask yourself, a man who have a lot of wives already, why he needs such a privilege? What the point of this? I mean, why, if I am a Muslim, God forbid, what I got from this? That my prophet, he have a privilege for his balls and his testicles and his penis? The God, the Almighty, who created the whole universe, he is making a special rules for the penis of the prophet so he can have fun. And any woman, she can give her vagina to his privilege. You know, if we go, if we go and look in Google, just to show the the dummy Muslims what we are talking about, in case you forgot. You see, this is the sky, my friend. The sky have endless numbers of stars. Every star can be millions of times size the Earth. Do you see the sky, my friend? Do you see the sky? So your religion saying that the one who created this marvelous universe, endless numbers of stars and planets, endless numbers of galaxies, nobody knows how many they are. He was making a special rules for the penis of the prophet of Islam. Are you with me, Muslims? All those endless galaxies, Allah is not worried about them. Allah is worried about the balls, the two balls of the Prophet. He want to make them happy. Are you happy, Prophet? Is your balls happy now? Yes, yes. But thank you, Allah. Thank you. This is God. This is God. The God who made this universe, he have time for the balls of Muhammad, and he's making a verses for him. Any women she wanna if the prophet. Oh, sorry. Any women he like to if her as the privilege for his balls. May Allah bless the. By the way, the balls of the prophet are not like any balls. I heard that they are anti, they are they are bulletproof. Do you see how silly, how stupid what you Muslims believe in? We are talking about God. So you know, God in Islam is just a sex toy to make. It's like a, you know, a, a, this the, this Muhammad he have a he have a remote control, and in, the, in this remote control is connected to once he call him Allah. Muhammad is a horny. He want women to give themselves to him. He's bored with the women he have. He want more. And he's shy to say, uh, Muhammad is shy since when? He is shy to say, uh, give me a wife. So he made a chapter about what is Allah making lawful for him to open the doors for all any women she is so hot and horny and she needed some sex and the prophet is there to help your needs just call 
the prophet at the number one nine hundred the prophet is ready to satisfy your needs look at those galaxies man look at this it's endless it's endless and this is what we know and I'm sure what we know not is a lot more look at this they don't even give them names no more they give them numbers you know what I mean and then the God who created this he is worried about the balls of a man a little insect in this earth I mean do you know how small we are and he is worried about the balls of the prophet you see why Allah don't make a verse is about you know teach the people something good for them but no it's a special verse about the privilege of sex for the prophet Islam is the proper religion Islam is the most stupid religion not only st uh, ugly disgusting but it is a stupid too every day at 4 30 p.m. New York time we are going to have a live broadcast in YouTube for now we are going to use the Arabian Prophet account <music>